Hello. So this video is for um, Mr. Freedom Vang. Uh, you know you had requested um, how to play uh, Potoke Who by Reflections um, a while back, last month or so. So um, here it is. Um, just gonna kind of do a quick tutorial on um, I guess just the different parts that this song is uh, uh, made of. So um, here we go. Uh, the song starts on a D. Major, um, and the it starts with a guitar solo. Uh, you're gonna start with your D string on the seventh fret, uh, palm muting onto your uh, to the uh, G string of seventh fret as well. So you're gonna start off both uh, or palm mute the first note, play the second note, then I'll take it slow where it goes. It's gonna you're gonna alter the ending of that phrase. And it's gonna go. part for the uh, the verse we're gonna um, do some palm muting here so all palm muting is is muting the back of the bridge with your palms so uh, you're gonna start with the D and a hammer on where it goes um and um, so it goes the pattern goes You know, if you if you listen closely, this note's gonna be this note's gonna be prominent. So it goes. And you repeat, repeat the D part. So the pattern for the whenever you hop to the B goes Yep. And then uh, moving on to the chorus, you're gonna do a little pick slide. Sounds much cooler with a lot of distortion. So after that you're gonna land on the D. So the chord starts with a D, going into a B minor, and then G, and then we do a little run. So it goes on. Um, you're going to slide to the 5th fret on the A string. You can either play 
the A on the E string and then on the 5th fret where you can open it up so it goes on where you can do I usually like to keep it open just so that um, then transition back to the uh, other chords are easier or are quicker uh, versus on here that you have to go back really fast there unless you want to go to the B down here but I prefer the B up here just because it sounds a little more open so again we have um is um, two strings, you're gonna play two strings, you're gonna mute everything else pretty much. Um, so, this note, and then go an octave up on the, um, on the G string, on the 11th fret. You're gonna mute this, you're gonna mute the D string and the e, low E and the rest of the um, bottom strings, right? So it's gonna go. So that's all you hear, this note and this note. And you're going to work your way up. So it goes. And that repeats twice. Um, and on the last, on the on the second round of the course, um, the rhythm at the very end is a little different whenever you go to the uh, A. So let's take it from the second round of the course. So it goes. Um, and then leads straight back into the verse, which is. See, that's pretty much it. Um, and then the bridge, the bridge, um, you'll go into. So this is the uh, third fret, which is on a G, on the low E. So. solo um, the very first note you're gonna play is this note but on the G string you're gonna bend from uh, ninth fret G string to 11th so essentially it's the same note as this but together you have this, uh, this effect that sounds like this so so we're gonna go. So it goes again. bend here you're gonna catch the uh, B string um, on the 10th fret with your pinky and then G string again
scale back down. So. the D, the open D up here a little faster if you do it up here. So all together you have pretty much it and then the last very last guitar solo it goes on uh, I usually like to slide from the fifth fret where it goes all the way down to the tenth on the B string Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or give me a call or throw me a text message. Um, but yeah, till next time.